Hello traders and welcome to the Morning Glory update. It's two and up on here, founder of Master the Markets, Elite Trades Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are once again on the Morning Glory trade on cable. So we have a position today. As you can see, we are just a little bit down over here, a bit of a drawdown over here at the moment. Now, what we have taken today is basically a bias on the short side. As I've always mentioned before, that when you want to take basically a position, always look at the higher time frame first. That's where you should be beginning with. And this was yesterday's bar. And at yesterday's trader social as well, I did mention about the statistics of the next day's bar taking out the previous day's low when it's closing below its mid-range or when it's closing above its mid-range. We went through the stats in the trader social yesterday. Summer party is what the team was. Right, so over here. So yesterday we had an outsider bar closing below its low. Do remember the statistics change when it's an outsider bar as well okay the statistics of it taking out the low rather than taking out the high and you must do know those stats if you do not okay and that is why it is so critical as i mentioned in trader social as well yesterday that it's so important that you hang around the professionals because they can shortcut the journey for you okay now going back into the trade once again so what do you do in a market condition like this so on the intraday basis we had a short position for the entry for this level here 13027 is where we took it at and after that we had a big massive outside the bar which went in our favor and we were up in good profit but now it has reversed quite a bit and it's hanging around this area, this price is just hovering around this area. So what do you do in a noisy, choppy market like this on an intraday basis? The thing is, one thing you can start with, traders, one thing you can start with is price. Price. Look how and study how to analyze price because that's the most fastest leading information for you when you look at the charts. Okay. So one thing what we do over here when it's in a choppy market, the first thing my focus absolutely goes on into is, 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 where, 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 where can I move my stop loss to or even can I or not? So basically risk. I've mentioned this a lot in our videos in terms of absolute focus on your risk because the last thing that you want is a big loss, okay? You do not want, you do not want a big loss, okay? You only want small losses because remember traders, some trades will have to run, okay? That's the whole basis, all right? So based on that, based on that, where can we logically move our stop loss in a choppy market like that is what you got to focus on. At the moment, currently right now, what we have is a bar which has taken out the low of the previous bar over here. And this is a high test bar as well. So what we can say is that this is a high test bar and if price does reverse to take out the high of this high test bar, what is the point of hanging on, actually? In fact, there are two, three other price levels that you need to marry off. And if you do know how to look at them, then you can also move your stop loss efficiently. As professionals over here at Master the Markets, we look at a few price levels in which all have indicated over here to see how we can move our stop loss and minimize our losses just in case if the trade goes against us. And also, that also gives us some room to take another position if the trade reverses and goes in our favor once again, okay? Currently, right now, our stop loss, right, is on the high of this high test bar, okay? Our still probabilities and shows that it's still, bias is still towards the downside, even on the lower time frame. So, we'll wait and see how this trade resumes to be and i'll give you all an update on the video as we go into the later part of the day and into the american session all right so for now i'll pause the video and we'll see how this carries on hello traders and you can see over here in terms of this trade on the morning glory which we had placed early in the morning we did trail our stop loss and i do remember telling you guys about getting aggressive on this move 
in terms of covering your position to minimize your loss so that we do not get do not get a big loss as long as your strategy is not taking initial stop losses losses you'll be good because one of them has got to run and it can easily override the losses the last thing what you really want to do traders is that you want to give your profits away okay we don't want to do that last week we had a very 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 amazing run with a 930 pounds bank in profit over here so what you do want to do is give back all that profit away okay so you want to be covering as much as possible but in a way that is strategic and statistically validated okay so in terms of this at the moment what i'll be doing is that we've covered it already we've been stopped out i'll see if there's a second position still for us to take if it doesn't violate the other levels over here and points to the upside okay so I'll resume i'll see and i'll wait and see if there's another opportunity or not uh, if there is then of course i'll update you guys but as for now we have been stopped out of this trade for a very small loss over here as you can see uh, just at 436 so what we really only lost over here as you can see is just basically just a matter of 19 pips okay just a matter of 19 pips is just won't be uh, lost okay so that's pretty much uh, that but do remember the take-home message from here is that what do you do in a in a choppy sideways market like that where the price is consolidating like that where it took you in by a big outside about to the short side and then it starts to stagnate and consolidate is that you have to focus on risk and cover yourself so that you do not get your initial stop loss hit and give away your profits that you had earned okay all right so that's pretty much that from me in terms of this video and as we always say till the next time stay disciplined follow your trading plan and keep trading like a master